quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? I just want to give a quick shout out to the Rodian Radio Podcast for inviting me to their show the other day. I had a lot of fun over there. You can check them out at the Rodian Radio Podcast. Now, for the show. It's not hot in here. It's not hot in here at all. It's not 100 degrees right now. And I don't have a bunch of light bulbs aimed at me right now. Hey there, welcome to the second only, well it's not the second video, just welcome, welcome. Hey, today you're gonna follow me along the five day journey on how we made Captain Hauser. So uh, to make this figure, it's pretty much six simple steps. I recommend to you to not do the six steps in one day. Take your sweet time, give life to your hauser, enjoy the process, because if you rush yourself, you might feel a little bit, you know, you might not do the best job, and then you might, yeah, you just, you might, like, screw it all up in the end, so just, just take your time, that's my, my advice for customs, I've messed up a bunch of customs permanently, because I was impatient, so be like a Jedi, and take your time patience is key for this so this is the list of items of things that you're gonna need one can of white army painter primer one elite squad trooper from the black series line assorted brushes sandpaper and paints the paints that we used were vallejo flat green vallejo white flat blue lemon yellow silver and black we also ordered a 3D printed pauldron. This was specifically the one that Captain Hauser used because he uses a distinct left pauldron. We mostly see troopers use a right pauldron, like a pauldron on the right side. I'm gonna post a link down below on the eBay link from the seller Camino 3D facility where you can acquire this. So step number one is to sand the figure down. So for Captain Hauser, we used an elite squad trooper. Straight out of the package, the figure comes in a very shiny coat, a very glossy coat. So we're gonna try to take off most of that coat so the paint sticks better to the figure. So for the sandpaper, don't use sandpaper that's too gritty cause it might damage the figure. After sanding the figure down, you're going to want to use your primer paint to spray some light coats on the figure. If you spray too heavy like heavy coats on the figure, it's going to bundle up and it's going to leave it's going to have like a weird finish to it. Be patient with this and try to cover all the areas. And if needed, do a second coat with the white primer spray paint. The more patient you are, the better the result will be. So after using the primer white, paint over the knee pads, the belt, and the shoulder pads. Why you may ask? Well the recent Black Series figures have are using like rubber for those parts. So after you add the spray paint, it gets really sticky. So anything that falls on it, hair, dust, dirt, it will stay there. So you're gonna wanna paint over your knee pads, shoulders, and belts with Vallejo White. After everything dries out, you're going to paint the black jumpsuit that's underneath the armor. I recommend using a thin brush for this. After you paint the black jumpsuit, you're going to want to paint the visor. After you paint the visor, you're going to paint the pauldron. After doing that, you're going to want to mix your turquoise, like bluish green color. So that mix is flat green, white, flat blue, and lemon yellow. So you're going to add the details to the helmet, chest, thighs, wrist, and pauldron. After adding the bluish green details, you're going to want to do a last coat of black wash 
and some black scratches. This is the first time that we do this technique of the black scratches on it. I've seen many people make bring their figures to life using the scratches and honestly the last part is the best part because it's the part where everything comes together. The figure looks great without the wash and the scratches but the, the wash and the scratches just adds a whole new dimension to the figure. Take your time and use a really thin brush for it. Captain Hauser, really cool character, also translates into a really cool figure in my opinion. And uh, I hope we get more cool troopers from Bad Batch because Bad Batch has really given us some of the best clone troopers designs we've had. Uh, yeah, so for the next episode, I think you saw him in the background, but for the next episode, we're gonna do Mr. We're just gonna do a White Republic Commando. So stay tuned for next episode, probably might come out this Friday or Saturday.